planning is nothing new. People have been doing it for a long time, particularly in other countries where there's actually long expanses where you have no amenities. And they really just want to get out into the bush. But the concept holds true. You know, I'm an outdoorsman. I was an Eagle Scout camping my whole life growing up. And then my total passion became rock crawling and off-road. So technically I'm a little late to the game even to do this as my own hobby, probably because I like to do a little bit harder trails in your traditional overland rig. But the balance, now we got kids taking them camping. It's pretty fun. You can see the appeal. And it's one of those things where there's no destination to it. It's a never ending journey of upfitting that rig with all the little tips and tricks things that make it just perfect for you and your family out there on the trail. I was recently out in Urari, or sorry, Ure, Colorado. We're close to Urari. And it was a whole overlanding thing. And to see some of the kit that these guys brought out there is pretty awesome. I mean, we were rolling over in a toy hauler, sleeping with the generator on, but I had to be a little envious of their little shanty town set up with all sorts of cooking and showers and tents and awnings and carpets. Pretty rad. This is the simple balance of a rig that's ready to go anytime you are. Simple tent on top of Fab Four's accessories. So you got a gladiator, became the perfect foundation. So we too are now bit by the bug and this is something we're gonna do a lot more this year. Not just making videos and products, but actually getting out there because it's awesome. You know, I love it out west, Colorado, Utah. These rigs will be going out there. We're gonna start joining in on some of these adventures because it's just a fun thing to do. In the video, you could see just how easy it was to use all this system. You know, this whole bed lended itself to corner protection. You know, from the first time people saw gladiators, there was risk of that huge overhang. Well, that's what you get with a bed. I mean, what did you want? A two and a half foot bed on the back? That'd be JL length. You're going to get some of that departure angle. Well, the Rubicon rear is a really well built bumper, and it actually had protection down below that was tied up into the frame. We took a cue from that and didn't want to rely on any of that structure because some of the non-Rubicons might not have that. We reinforced, built our own bracket getting to the frame so you can completely support the weight of the vehicle from this corner. But we didn't stop there. So I thought the stock bumper was so nice I told my team we better go no holds barred on this rear. Otherwise there's just no reason for people to change it. Well we did. Getting these big corners in with integrated steps and slider tubes, well, you can see it in the video. You gotta have somewhere to walk around this rig when you're trying to get on top. Whether there's a tent or it's just gear, maybe you got coolers up there, chairs, all the other paraphernalia you would take if say you had a trailer with your tent on it. Having access to the top of a rack is not easy. You know, on a pickup truck, it's typically standing on the tire or only what you can reach from the tailgate. I had no problem even having not tested it before, completely standing on our fender systems. I mean, one of the beauties of having this over skin, part of what I first wanted for that is future options. You know, you could grind this down, weld on something to hold a bottle jack. Like there's just things that can be done with this in the future, but it's also just a stomp pad. So it's one of those things you could have this piece just bedlined if you wanted more traction to it or you know, if you need to have it repainted, it's easy. You're not pulling the whole fender system off. But we have plenty of structure here to support the weight. And that was very handy in getting to the front of the rack system without ever having to get it down. So I think we had this tent up in about 10 minutes. And a lot of that was just having access to the full surround of the bed. I mean, you can safely step fender to bumper to tailgate to bumper to fender, making your way around this rig. The bumper has this bolt in got a logo plate, navigator logo to it. Love that for just splashing some color in. It will come black and then you have your options for what to change it to. This is also a separate feature around the D-ring. Purpose of that, we like that trick red tow hook that the Rubicons came with. I want to give you that option. So if you wanted to go with a color match or just red, you can do that to the D-ring area. So you've got the center section, the two bolt-in D-ring mounts, which are both for shackle and a hook spot. Then the wings that are totally reinforced to the frame. So we've got you from all corners locked in. This thing will take a beating. So clearly, as soon as the Gladiator hit, you had a bed. Everybody's got to think rack. You know, how are you going to utilize all that space? 
and particularly even in the Overland theme. So we went with a very modular concept as far as how this thing's gonna bolt together and future options. Knowing that in that community, there's no way you can guess what's most important to that customer of ours, what they're gonna to wanna to carry. You want mat tracks, you want a high lift jack mount, you want shovels, are you just gonna to wanna to bolt an awning to the side of this thing? It's really endless. So, you give as many options as possible right out of the box. That's why we have these four bolt flanges all over this thing. It's a universal pattern, so that even allows us to have future options we can launch, but same for you. It's very easy to replicate that, bolt anything you want to it, and furthermore, just have flat surfaces everywhere that are prone for drilling and bolting. The rack includes three crossbars, but you can continue purchasing crossbars to the extent that you want to deck the top of this. You know, it's adding weight, but yet again, you don't know what you're going to put up there and what the span is in between. So it gives you that option. You'll also see there's bolts on the inside and gussets to each one of the uprights. That's ideally for just using a ratchet strap or hook to, but the more I've looked at this, I've envisioned cross members, trays, things that I don't think Fab Fours is gonna necessarily bring to market soon, but they're very easy to fabricate to build whatever you're gonna to want to. Heck, you could even do it out of wood if you had. One awesome thing about the way that this is mounted is it retains that factory rail, which gives you all those options as far as tie downs and sliding that back and forth. It's really cool. Normally you would sacrifice, pick one or the other to have those integrated, it's cool. Gen 1, what you see is what you get. You know, you gotta add the lights separately, but it's got a top rack on top of two side bars. What's really cool about this is the next generation. So there will be a whole subset that only wants to be behind the cab. I mean, there's a lot of advantages to that because you can still pull the tops easy. These are so lightweight, you can do it yourself these days. And it's basically not giving you up any of the versatility of the Gladiator itself. However, as you can see, a rooftop temp pretty much dominates the entire rack, taking away further storage. And you're limited on some of the tent sizes. We are also going to have a full width rack. And the cool innovation that we intend to do here is this exact same top piece will now become the front. So all you have to buy is a riser secondary rear, which will be really cool. You know, in order to have the best part at each way, that was the perfect blend. Otherwise, if you had intentions to go forward in the future, this would have been taller than the cab. So this allowed us to have the perfect look when you're pre-cab, but then when you go to the front, we'll make up that height discrepancy in this middle piece. So it'll be this tall with the jog, and that'll be the bolting face that allows this to become the front. It's gonna be awesome, I can't wait to have that thing. And you can just load the heck out of it. You know, for doing passes out in Colorado and some of those trails, and even over where we are on the East Coast, just hitting the Smoky Mountains, going to the Burning Rocks and some of those places, you're not gonna be so extreme that you gotta worry so much about the weight, which allows you to worry about the comfort and the camping element. And I think it's pretty awesome that you can just have a rig sitting in your driveway, loaded up, ready to go with everything for a weekend, throw the kids in, dog in, hit the trail, and just like we did, throw down some camp chairs, pop up the tent, and you're set for the weekend.